These are the most viral AR reels that are on my Instagram feed right now. And they are getting millions of views. They make me smile every day that I see them. And this is kind of like the AI slop the internet was made for. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can make these cat videos. I will also show you how you can make these creepy food cannibalism videos. Honestly, I don't know who came up with that, but it's super cool. Like, check out this dude. He's getting insane amount of views on his Instagram page with these videos. I will also share how you can make these viral cat baking videos. I will also explain how to make all of these viral videos that are a bit older, but still I will show you how to make them. Like for example, the AI ASMR. The Bigfoot one. It's day three of solo camping in the Amazon. Most of these are all made using a single platform that you can use to make both your images and your videos for. There's one extra tool that we need that I will show you throughout this video. You can find the links to all of it in the description down below, including all of my prompts, everything I've used if you sign up to my free newsletter. We're starting off with this CCTV animal videos that every time I see them, I've been caught by surprise. So let me explain how you can make this. After logging into OpenArt, you want to go to video. And for this video, we'll be using text to video, not image to video, but text to video. You can do image to video as well if you want to have a bit more control. But if you're using VO3, then this works exactly. Now you want to enter in your prompt. So if you sign up to my newsletter, you will get access to all of the prompts that I have. For this first one, we're using this exact prompt right here. Now we're just going to copy it and we're going to copy it into our open art. Then for the audio, you want to turn it off. This will save you a little bit of credits. And also, we don't really need the audio for this clip. If you want to use the audio, you can do so, but it will be a bit more expensive. You want to increase the resolution to 1080p and then you want to do fast mode because that's also a lot cheaper than normal mode. Now you click on create and now your video is creating. So here we have our video. As you can see, we don't have the part where they put the thumbs up or the middle finger yet, because that's unfortunately not really possible with Google VO3. You can do the thumbs up, but I've tried multiple different times, but it just turns out bad. Now to get the middle finger effect, you need to go to the next step, which is signing in to Pixverse. I will leave the link in the description down below. This is the only platform right now that can actually do this. Other than that, everything can be done inside of OpenArt, but for this, we're going to Pixverse. The next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the template then you want to scroll down and here you have the dancing effect but for this we first want to use the middle finger up then you want to upload your open art video right here so i'm going to upload my footage right here then you click open and now all you got to do is you have to click on create and then after generating you get this result If you want to add in the dance, then you do that as follows. So we replace this effect with the dancing effect. Then you want to download this video and you want to add this to your project. So I have it downloaded already. Now we have the middle finger video added to this and then we just add this at the end and then we hit create. This might take you a few tries because for me it was glitching a little bit. But honestly, this is quite good and these memes are a ton of fun. They add in some automatic audio, but you can just replace that with anything of your own. Next up, we have this creepy AI account that has some kind of like food cannibalism going on. And honestly, their views are quite insane. Like this one, 13 million, this one, 55 million, 36 million. So many people have brain rot. Now to make something like that, we first need to make an image. So you wanna go over to image on open art. And the reason why you wanna make an image is because that will give you more control over the outcome. So for the model, you wanna select flux context max. 
effects. In my opinion, this works best for making these kind of like fantasy type creatures. Then you want to add in your prompt. You can just copy my prompt. You enter in the prompt right here. I have it a hyper realistic yet cartoonish surrealism, uh, a serving of a golden french fries that have closed eyes. Add in all the details about the food that you want to add in there. Then for the output size, in this case, I'm going to do 16 by 9 because this is a YouTube video. If you want to do Instagram, then you might want to switch it over to 9 by 16 or 4 by 5. I must say 16 by 9 might be best because that will give you more possibilities when generating the video. So we're going to go with 16 by 9 and then you want to hit create. That gave me this creepy dude. The next step you want to do is you want to upscale this because having upscaled it will give you a better result. I already have done that, but you can do basically 2x or 4x. And now that you have the image upscaled, you want to make a video out of this. So you want to use the image and then you want to go image to video. This will bring you over to the image to video generator and now you can add in your prompt. So for this, you want to be using VO3 because VO3 is the only one that can generate good sounding audio with this and also the motion and everything thing combined is just great on VO3. Next up we add in our prompt. So my prompt to give you a bit of an idea is hand with neatly manicured nails painted with a soft pastel pink and I even included like the color code with that. Enters frame from camera left gently holding like a single golden french fry and basically we're feeding it the french fry. It's it's kind of dark but we're making food cannibalizing videos because that's for some reason goes viral. Like that's what the people want to see. Now you add in all the details that you have. You can just say this in talking language as long as you're specific. So the character eyes remain closed. The mouth goes, opens naturally, receiving the french fries. Okay, then the character is chewing with a joyful expression and steam is rising softly from the fries. Then you add in a few details like realistic motion, a subtle head movements, and basically you wanna make sure you wanna turn the audio on, then you wanna do 1080p and then you wanna use fast and then you wanna click on create. Now that gave me this result. I don't know about you, but I'm just creeped out by this. But if you want to do this, go ahead. You know how to do it right now. You can do this with any type of food. Let's, for example, do this with a marshmallow. So here I got the prompt for a marshmallow. First, we, of course, generate the image again. I got my prompt right here. Then we want to do it widescreen. And then we have an image like this. Then we take that image and we put it in the video tree and it gave us this result. The last step you need to go through is to add in a song and the best songs you can find on Artlist. So if you go over to Artlist, you can find this song over here. It has that creepy vibe. You can just search for those songs and then you add this under your video. And that gave us this result. The third meme that I want to show you are these cat videos. Like they are sprinkling some like flour on the cats and then they're just massaging them with a dough roller. It goes super viral. Like people like it so much. This dude got like close to a million likes on that video, which is insane. And so many people are thinking that it's real and not AI, which is crazy. So let me show you how you make this. For this, we first need to have an image. So with this one, we are using uh, not Flux Context, but we're using Flux Dev. And for Flux Dev, you wanna enter in your prompt. I have a very, very long prompt for this. Extremely chubby orange tabby cat with a faint cream stripes lying completely flat like a loaf on a large wooden baking board. Evenly dusted with fine white flour, face is round with plush cheeks, short muzzle, large perfect and eyes looking forward essentially what i'm doing is i'm describing the exact shot that i want like describing what type of view like a bird's eye view from directly above i describe what's going on in the kitchen background and i even add in some texture and i say what lens it is shot on so in this case 85 millimeter lens emulation you can try this out with ChatGPT, copying my prompt put it into ChatGPT, and ask it to recreate these prompts with your idea then you want to choose your desired output and I'm gonna do 16 by 9 again as this is a YouTube video. Now we get a result like this. 
you then again want to upscale this image and then you know the drill we're gonna put this inside the image to video generator for this one once again we're using vo3 but you can also try this out with different methods but i actually want to add in some sound effects on this one so i'm using vo3 then we copy this prompt and what you essentially want to do is you want to make sure you kind of like squish the cat and then you sprinkle some flour on it and then you roll the pin over its head essentially describe what you want to do in your prompt so you want to enter in your prompt then you hit create and that gave me this video you can do this with different animals too if you'd like it isn't limited to cats but it is quite cute moving on we got ai asmr videos and these are super satisfying honestly this is just better than a real person doing ai asmr so what you want to do with this you can do this yourself and all you need is vo3 with that the only thing you need to come up with is a good prompt now let me show you how you can actually make a good prompt for this basically what you want to ask it is to make an asmr cutting video i normally use this with my dictate mode but to explain you a little bit how that works is i just say like make an asmr cutting video with glass strawberry on a wooden cutting board the video should be focused on the satisfying asmr glass sound that is very important there should be a unique distinguishable feature so the woman's hand holding the strawberry has like pink nail polish now this will make it more unique if you want to have your own page around multiple different ai asmr videos for example then you can say give me a hex coat for the color to maintain consistency also the knife is a polished stainless steel kitchen knife and the handle has a distinguishable feature which is an emerald gemstone handle this makes your prompt more unique than others you can ask it to give it a hex coat so you can maintain consistency then you hit enter now it will help you structure a good prompt we can now copy this prompt and now we go over to open art and we're gonna use text to video and here you want to make sure you use the vo3 with audio on then you click create and that will give you a video like this you can do the exact same thing with a glass pancake for example so take a look at this one Next up, this gummy bear is also super satisfying. And you can find all of these prompts right here. Another thing that's still going viral and will help you a lot with structuring your prompts is JSON prompting. Now these IKEA unboxing videos have been performing really well on the internet. People might already be over it, but still learning how to JSON prompt can be super useful for making cool videos. It is essentially a great structure of telling the AI exactly what you want to have happen. Now I've made this custom ChatGPT prompt that will help you make a good json prompt just by typing in what you want for example let's say you want one for a high-end perfume now it will start writing the entire prompt for you ideally you want to be more specific you want to add in all the details that you want even if it is something custom like a certain object that you want to have in there make sure you describe it as clearly as possible then you copy your prompt then you put it inside of vo3 text to video and then out comes your video take a look at all of these examples Lastly, the Bigfoot slash Yeti vlogs have been going viral for quite a bit of time now. And let me just show you how this works. In my opinion, it's a bit outdated right now, but still people want to know how that works. So what you want to do here, you want to create your prompt first. I am a big fan of using ChatGPT to write your prompts because it can add in more details than you can imagine yourself. The other thing that you can do when writing your prompts is adding in hex codes. Rookie made a good video on this. So shout out to Rookie for coming up with this 
this idea. And what you essentially do is you copy the code that you want to have something like the fur of Bigfoot or some kind of object. You add in that exact color code of what you want it to look like. Then the AI can understand, oh, he wants it to look like this. So no more guessing around, getting precise prompts to get exactly what you want. Basically, what I do is I just dictate it like this. I want to make a POV vlog style video of Bigfoot holding a black GoPro Hero 8 and he's essentially vlogging. Could you add in the hex code for this and also describe what it looks like, where he is, in what type of location he is. For example, it could be in the woods, could be in the forest, could be anywhere that you can imagine. Then we hit send. So now we have this draft. I don't like it that much, so we want to change that a little bit. The things I don't like is it needs to start with POV. So let's just instruct it. Start the prompt with POV vlog style video of a hairy Bigfoot with the color code of his fur. Then also include that he is holding a GoPro Hero 8 that is black with the hex code. And make sure he is like, let's do a, let's put him on a, on a beach at sunset. Now make him say, yo Bigfooters, this is day number three and I am still surviving on this island. Those monkeys over there have not been nice to me, so I'm gonna beat their ass today. Next up, you wanna hit send and now out comes our prompt. So that's essentially how you can kind of like learn how to prompt with ChatGPT. Let's copy this and now we put this over into OpenArt. And we're using text to video and VO3 audio on, same settings, fast and then you hit send. The one thing you wanna watch out for with Google VO3 is that it is way too censored. So I get like a content policy violation right here. The way to solve that is to probably avoid this wording right here, which is going to beat their ass. So fortunately, Google has been playing the nice game and you cannot like say anything weird in it. So let me just change this to, I'm going to throw rocks at them today. Now we try it again and let's see if this gets approved. So my text here is way too long. Your limit is around eight seconds. So make sure you fit in the exact text that you can fit within eight seconds. Here's another video that I made. You can find the exact prompt in the prompt document that I've attached. Now take a look. Hey, Bigfooters. It's day three of solo camping in the Amazon. If you want to try all of this yourself, then I would recommend signing up to OpenArt. It is the all-in-one platform where you can do multiple different things from generating images to videos to using all the different AI video platforms. And also, if you sign up to my free newsletter, then you will get access to all the prompts that I used in this video. So you can try generating this yourself, use my custom prompt bots and everything you need to make cool videos. If you're still conflicted to which model you should use what for, then click the video that's on the screen right now and in that video i will dive into how to use each and every ai video generator that's on the market right now